How is everybody doing today? Good. There you go. We want to have lots of noise. So on behalf of the National Park Service, it is our great honor to welcome a delegation from the Delaware Tribe of Indians back to Lenapahoking, the Lenape homeland. And more specifically here to Paquapig, the place of the noisy waters. The Delaware Tribe of Indians are the modern day descendants of the Lenape, the original indigenous people of the Passaic River Valley. It is my privilege to hand over the mic to Mr. Curtis Zunica, director of the Delaware Tribe of Indians Cultural Resources Department, so he can introduce the culture, traditions, and contributions of the Lenape Delaware people. Curtis. All right, good morning, everyone. like that. All right. What a beautiful morning. In our language, we would say, Willy Kishku, it is a good day. Um, and it's a privilege to be here at Patterson Great Falls National Historic Park. And we appreciate the uh, work and the cooperation that we've had with the National Park Service staff. It's uh, just been a, a lovely uh, partnership and collaboration to come here today. My name is Curtis Zuniga. Uh, my Lenape name is Alushi Oquis, and it means he is like a fox. And I am uh, an enrolled member of the Delaware Tribe of Indians, which is headquartered in Bartlesville, Oklahoma, in the northeastern part of the state. I am uh, the uh, cultural director, I've been working on and off for the tribe for 35 years now. So uh, I continue to believe I'm a student of my culture, but over the years I've kind of transformed into also a teacher and an educator when it comes to our culture, our language, our customs and traditions. Um, our program today, we're going to start off, I'm going to introduce my uh, my family that is here to uh, present our culture. We're gonna introduce ourselves and talk about our traditional clothing, which is regalia. And by the way, I must insist, the Indian clothes we are wearing are, it's not a costume. Don't call it a costume. We don't call it a costume because a costume to me is you're dressing up to pretend to be somebody else or something else. Uh, these Indian clothes, is, is kind of like they're our Indian clothes, not our street clothes, so to speak. So uh, we call it, you might hear the term regalia or traditional clothes. And uh, we're, we're going to talk about that. Then we're going to take a break. And anybody that's interested, I have a, a brief slideshow to tell about our history and, and our community back home, and show you pictures of, of our folks back home and what we do back home uh, as uh, the modern day Delaware tribe of Indians. But Delaware is our colonial name. As was mentioned earlier, our traditional name in our language is Lenape. Many of you all have heard here, around here, they'll say Lenape, uh, but the correct pronunciation is Lenape. It means the original people. Our name Delaware came after an English colonial governor in the early 18th century. Uh, he was uh, Sir uh, Thomas West, Governor Thomas uh, West, uh, a British colonial governor over the entire Delaware River Valley in Pennsylvania. and. He had a title of nobility. He was the third Lord D. La War, and D. La War morphed into Delaware, and the river valley and the native inhabitants became referred to as Delaware by the British, and that name stuck. So, uh, again, our colonial name is Delaware, and we are enrolled members of the Delaware Tribe of Indians, but also our traditional name is Lenape. And uh, I'm going to be going into a lot more detail under the tent here. And just a heads up, before we take a break and go over to the slideshow, uh, 
we're available to do any, uh, you know, if you want to get photos and everything, uh, that'd be a good time to do that. And then after our slideshow program, we're going to come back out on stage and we're going to do singing and dancing. So we're looking forward to it. And uh, at this time, I would uh, now like to turn it over to um, my daughter, Erica McGee. Hi, my name is Erica Zuniga McGee, and my Lenape name is Kishulte, as Little Moon. I am a <clears throat> descendant of the Wilson family, enrolled member of the Delaware Tribe of Indians out of Oklahoma. I have uh, two children, Kayla and Riley McGee, uh, also Turtle Clan. My father is Curtis Zuniga. By occupation, I'm a hairstylist in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but I'm also a certified Delaware artist. I bead and sew all of the traditional clothes that you see here. And I also have a small business called Crazy Turtle Designs. So if you're on Facebook or Instagram, <laughs> I uh, do create indigenous apparel. So if any would like to look that up. And I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you for having me, Wanishi. Hello. Hey, Della Wincy. My name is Riley. Uh, I am 19 years old, and I graduated from Charles Page High School in Sand Springs, Oklahoma. I am a active member in the Delaware Tribe of Indians. My two favorite uh, Delaware uh, cultural events would be <clears throat> board dancing and stomp dancing. I'm really thankful to be here with you all. Wanishi, thank you. De Luenci Mamecas. Hi, my name is Kayla McGee. My Lenape name is Mamecas, meaning butterfly. Um, I'm 15 years old and I'm a sophomore at Charles Page High School in Sand Springs, Oklahoma. Um, I'm an international championship fancy shell dancer and I love to stomp dance. Um, I'm so blessed to be here with you guys today and I'm thankful for the invite. Wanishi. We're going to take a few minutes here and show you a little bit about the women's dress. So Kayla here is wearing a day dress, um, camp dress, sometimes known as camp dress, uh, made out of a cotton material um, calico prints. And if anyone didn't know, um, our flower bags way back in the day, uh, the flower makers realized that the uh, people were making clothes out of these bags because they didn't have anything else. So they decided to start decorating their bags and making the calico print out of the flower bags. And of course we were given provisions and so flour was one of the provisions we were given. So we started making our dresses out of calico print and it kind of stuck. So it's pretty, pretty material. Uh, decorated with a lot of bling, as you can see. We have a brooch here. One, one brooch signifies a Delaware woman. Also the ruffle, uh, similar ruffle here. And uh, with the day dress, three ribbons, uh, along with the apron that has the matching ribbons. Moccasins uh, signified the pucker toe with the lapels or flaps on the side. Beaded toes. And then on the back, we wear a hair comb. This is the Ansibalaun, and uh, that is uh, our hair, excuse me, hair board, which is uh, decorated uh, again with bling. Well, everybody likes bling. And some uh, ribbons hanging there. She's wearing wampum earrings. That's another important part of our culture. And uh, the red circles or dots on the face also signifies woman. Uh, in our culture. We like to carry around fans because, you know, it gets really hot. <laughs> uh, feathers are an important part of our culture. And 
I'm wearing a more evening dress. This is something that I wear to powwow um, to dance in. And a similar style, the ruffle, the bling. I know a lot of times uh, with these silver brooches, they were also used as trade. And so women would wear them on their clothes to keep them safe. And then they could just take a piece off to trade with the uh, people. So also I have the same style of moccasin, the pucker toe with the beaded toe. And the ribbon work um, that it's done here, of course I have more of an applique design, but ribbon work going down the right side and around the bottom of the skirt is uh, uh, the way that our people, that our ancestors would spend time together sitting around and sewing and making up beautiful designs and putting things together to uh, give their family something pretty to wear. Um, and let's see, I think that's it. Got a, oh, the dentalium necklaces. So um, I'm sure that there was a lot of different shells and things that were used uh, with our ancestors, but dentalium is really popular right now. So I made my necklaces out of that. Thank you all. Oh, my hair comb. Yeah, she reminded me of that. Silver is real popular with the tribes, so we have brooches and combs and things, so my hair comb. Thank you, guys. Oh, well.